Okay, this is a Homer Cocktail 9 here. Um, we're going to try to keep these quick. We don't need to go the whole 10 minutes on this. We're going to hit some uh, points um, over the next few months. This is a political channel more so than anything else. Uh, I have other channels. Um, Homer Cocktail, Homer Cocktail 2, Homer Cocktail 3, those are uh, music channels. Homer Cocktail 4 and Homer Cocktail 076, those are basic uh, chat sites. <clears throat> and uh, there's a couple of others here and there, and uh, this Homer Cocktail 9 is aiming a little t to be a little more political. Okay, we're, we're going to go through some basic facts here. Basic facts. Basic facts about... Uh, Okay, let's think about the airplanes in the sky. Airplanes in the sky. And what what are they made of, airplanes? Wood? No, they're made of steel. They're made of steel. Okay. A little common sense, a little common sense. Alright, the airplanes are made of steel. What's inside of the airplanes? There's people, there's seats. There's instruments, and there's jet fuel. And there's baggage and luggage, you know, whatnot. Okay, so uh, we have some of the basics, a little common sense. Now we ask ourselves, that jet fuel, what, well, well, how, how come it doesn't melt the plane? Is it planes fly in the air? Why does it not melt the plane? The reason for that is jet fuel, the hottest it could get, is 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. You can go ahead and Google this. And, uh, you know, you're gonna find, uh, find those numbers to be pretty accurate. 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> Steel melts at 2750 Fahrenheit. 2700 degrees, uh, 2750 degrees Fahrenheit. Steel, okay? There's a compound that you can put in paint, and it's used in detonations, what's called thermite. And that'll, uh, that'll, it acts as uh, a form of a catalyst. Um, that could uh, heat uh, steel up to be 4,500 uh, degrees if, if you apply it to steel. That stuff will burn up to 4,500 degrees, and jet fuel, the hottest it can get is 1,800 degrees. Um, what was the purpose of this discussion? Well, uh, this is a political site, and uh, over the years we're just going to put some of the pieces of, uh, of the puzzle together. Um, obviously, I want you to think about steel frame buildings. And if uh, the jet fuel is not melting the airplane that it's in, how can it melt an entire steel frame building, let alone two or three of them. Um, so we're going to ponder this, and we're going to ask ourselves why it is at ground zero where there's some steel beams that uh, were perfectly cut at 45 degrees, much like you find in a dead nation, uh, when they um, intentionally blow up a building. So uh, we're not going to blame anyone at this point. But we're going to ask ourselves, what does it take to melt steel? What's it take to bring, bring down a building? Uh, what's it take to restore America, life, liberty, pursuit of happiness, etc., and get over the fear that uh, people have experienced um, since the turn of the millennium? You guys been a good crowd? Just want to throw out some uh, facts. You can Google them. And um, comment all you want. Or just uh, take it in, but we're gonna put this together, guys. And uh, we'll, we'll go in different directions as uh, the months head as need be. Party on!